So I'm in Hawaii right now. I'm at a hotel, so if you hear some Hawaiian music in the background, that's what's going on. In this video, I'm going to show you how to produce great videos for online courses. And I'm helping my friend Brian out, who's creating a course for our platform, greatercommons.com. Greater Commons is a platform, platform where everybody can teach and everybody can learn. You don't have to have a bachelor's or a master's or a doctorate degree to teach on Greater Commons. All you have to do is be able to understand something and to be able to convey that understanding. So whether it's playing the guitar or cooking or using Microsoft Excel or programming, if you understand something and if you could convey that understanding, you're qualified to teach on Greater Commons. And what you're going to learn in this video is how to get your recordings uh, you know, optimized for editing. And so we're doing a test, couple of test videos here for Brian, a friend of mine who's creating a course. And we just want to make sure the settings are right. All right, so Brian sent over a couple of videos to me. He sent over a screen capture video. And to capture your screen on a computer, you want to use open broadcaster software, OBS. It's really the industry leader right now. This is the best screen recording software that you could find out there. And, uh, and there's a couple of settings on it. So I'm going to show you those in a second. But if you're capturing your screen, capture your screen with OBS and then capture the instructor with a separate camera. You don't want to have those two things happening on the, on the computer because uh, that's a lot of processing power. That's a lot of processing required by your computer. And uh, it gives you more flexibility in editing when you have two video audio streams, one of the computer and one of the camera. And so capturing them in two devices is important. But when you do that, you want to make sure that the audio and the video in each audio video stream, that they match up. All right, so here are the settings for OBS. And these are my settings. So you just go into OBS, and uh, when you're recording, you'll see that there's this right here. It's ticking up, showing you your recording. You'll tune this down so that you're not like tweaking out the speaker. Get that tuned down. And then you'll just go into settings, click settings, and here's the general settings. And then uh, here are my output settings. So make sure this is set to MP4, and where do you want to save your files? Here are my audio settings. I've set this to 48 kilohertz, and I'll show you why in a second. For this video, I set to 48 kilohertz. And then here are my video settings, and you can see that I've set my, my base resolution to the highest possible resolution on my monitor. And so on my computer, on a Mac, I go into Preferences, System Preferences down here, and then I go to Displays, and then I just go over to More Scaled and More Space, and that's 1920 by 1200. That's the most pixels I could capture on this screen. So you want to capture as many pixels as possible. And my frame per second values are set to 29.97. That's standard for, you know, Western world. All right, so those are my settings. And uh, that's OBS. So now I want to check all this. So I'm going to open up Adobe Premiere and take a look at the video footage that Brian has sent over. And with Adobe Premiere open, I'm going to click a new project. And Adobe Premiere is only $20 a month. And um, yeah, it's for Creative Cloud. So as a teacher and a student, $20 per month, that's a really good deal. And so I'm just going to put this on my desktop. I'm going to call it Brian uh, Test 2 because I already did a test one. I threw that video away because I started vacuuming around me. And I was halfway through the video, and that was a bummer. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to go find those two videos. Here is the GoPro. He's using a GoPro to capture the teacher. And uh, this is a, a 4K wide resolution. And a, a wide resolution, wide sorry, wide field of view <coughs> is going to round the edges. You can see right here that this is rounded, whereas a narrow field of view on a GoPro keeps that more square. And this is really perfect. You know, it's like getting him a nice full face image. He'll be able to connect with the student. You want to capture the instructor when you teach a course because the student-teacher relationship, there's a lot of research and my own personal experience shows that the stronger the student-teacher relationship, the greater the student's success. And so just like right now, it's nice for you to see me when we're communicating. Uh, it's also nice in a course for the student to be able to see the teacher. So we're going to work with this one here and also with his screen recording and just make sure those, those two uh, recordings have settings which match. I'm going to grab them and I'm going to drag them down in Premiere. I'm going to drag them down to uh, this area here where it's the project area, and it's just going to import those. So I dropped that, and now they got imported. When those are imported, you could grab this part right here, and you could move it left and right. 
and uh, grab the left side and drag it to the right or grab the right side and drag it to the left. If you grab this, it just opens that up. But uh, now I can see that here, his GoPro was recording at 29.97, but his desktop was at 30 frames per second. So he'll want to go into, Brian will want to go into settings and then go down to video and change common FPS values to 29.97. And that way the frame rate on his GoPro will match the frame rate on his OBS recording. And then also his GoPro is recording at 48 uh, kilohertz, 48,000 hertz. And, uh, and his screen recording is at 44,100. Uh, 44, so he'll want to go into audio and change that to 48. And that way his GoPro uh, uh, frames per second and his screen recording frame per second will match. They'll both be 29.97. And the, the audio encoding, the compression will be 48 uh, on each of these. And so that's, those are the two changes he wants to make. Just change this to 48, change this one to 29.97. So those are two changes that need to be made. All right, so that's uh, making sure that the audio video clips sync up. <coughs> and uh, that's how you kind of, those are the settings for a Mac on OBS.